And we're also proud because one of the hosts on the three-hour news show, Rory Ashari, moderated the B20 Summit in Bali, which saw heads of state, CEOs, and business leaders all attending. There were also programs for the spouses of the leaders that allowed them to chance, sorry, that allowed them the chance to see and enjoy Indonesian culture, including crafts, cuisines, and music. And we are also proud of this moment as well because the host for these programs was none other than and one of our very own producers. Yay! It seems like Paul can't wait until you interview this very own source of ours today. Well, when else are we going to be able to drag her in front of the camera, when right? When else? Exactly. <laughs> Lovely pictures from the occasion. Look at her. Here. This Ooh. is a bit of a teaser as to who we're going to be having a conversation with up next. That's right. And she looks so tremendously beautiful when I saw her postings on Instagram. Mm and how she met with a lot of uh, wives or spouses of the heads of states mm -hmm. and also the first lady Iriana herself. Okay. Let's dig more about the event and her experience. We now have Noni Putri in the studio. Hello. Hello. Nan well, she's Noni. always in the studio, but <laughs> yeah. now she's actually in front of the camera. Yes. Yay. Yeah. Usually yeah. she's in the control room. Exactly. Usually yeah. she's right here in our ears. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Thank you for having me, Paul and Ali. Right oh, so happy one today. <laughs> so, tell us, how did you get chosen to be the MC? I it's know, right? It's such an experience. <laughs> tell us. It's, um, well, a few weeks before, um, I got called by state of secretariat mm. and then they said hey we're gonna put your names on the mm. list for the g20 spouse program and i was like oh well okay we a lot of uh, other names i believe i oh, know i think we we want to choose you mm. at the first place they already said that but i said oh, okay mm. and then a few a few weeks later and then suddenly they said you know what you fit the profile mm. your track record is you've been emceeing in several countries when i was uh, when I was living in China and also in Qatar, I did lots of events to do emceeing, uh, diplomatic events, cultural events for the international society and others. So apparently they kept tracking records on me. Mm -hmm. And so there and you I go. Got, and I got chosen for the duty. It's almost like you were handpicked for this. And exactly. You, you know, this is a fun fact that we are learning as well. Me personally, I did not know that you had hosted diplomatic events before. It made yeah. sense. I decided to yeah. go with you. And mm -hmm. before time, uh, I did my career as a reporter and news anchor as well. So that's right. I so got, got the experience yeah. already. So I, uh, I got hired from the government institution, especially state of secretariat, when I hosted several events for the presidents, for the ministers. Mm -hmm. So Apparently, they still remember me. Right. <laughs> but this has been a long time. And the time. foreign minister is as it, well. Is it, did you have like a long pause until you get this job? And well, I did. How did it feel? Diplomatic events. My last diplomatic event in Qatar was in 2020, I believe. I, hmm. uh, I leave Qatar in, until 2019 and they hired me again. So I have to... So they brought you all the way back? Yeah. Wow. wow. Okay. Because they insist I have to be the host for this cultural international event at a time with the tourism minister in mm -hmm. Qatar. So I brought, I, I went back again to Qatar in 2020. That's the last event that I hosted. It was almost three years yeah, ago. Yeah, two years ago. That's and my last. It seems like you must have done a great job because otherwise you wouldn't Michelle. have left such a lasting impression Michelle. of all these Michelle. people. Oh. But uh, <laughs> let's get right into the event. So okay. the, ev the event itself was strictly for the spouses. Can you yes. tell us a little bit about what what was what took place during the event first of all and what was your role in it okay so um my duty was um in the receptions okay in the reception so when uh ibu negara mrs iriani madam iriani indiana sorry madam iriana has to um this the spouse came and then uh, madam iriana greeted them and then they'll be brought in holding rooms. Mm -hmm. That is my position in okay. holding rooms. So you're next to Yes, yeah, so I greeted them. Okay. And then after that, th there's this, um, there's this, some crafters. Mm. Tandon crafters. Okay. Local crafters. Lo local crafters. And then there's a batik crafters. Mm -hmm. There's a woven crafters. And then they have to, they will see. Uh, they yeah. visit each of yeah, the crafters. Yeah, each of the crafters. Mm -hmm. And then there's two, uh, first lady, the first one is uh, Amin Erdogan, mm -hmm. and then 
the other the other host was busy. There's a Madam Angela Tano Sudibio, mm. and then there was also Madam Nini, mm -hmm. uh, one of the foreign minister director at the time. And then suddenly I have to cover their duty mm -hmm. to chat with the Amin Erdogan as well, and then uh, Madam Kim Kon Hee as well. Mm. So suddenly a lot of impromptu I moments become then. the host, not just an MC. Well, this and is then I introduced the Batik and I introduced it. This is like rare opportunity for it's me very as well. Rare. I know, but yeah. there's no picture of it. That's but, so well, I thought you said because you saw it's, some pictures. Probably. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, but it, this is a private, intimate. Ah, uh, they don't parts. want it. They don't so, want their because to be that's the, the the parts when uh, Madame Iriana, you know, greeted them and then speech. You know, right. that's the part. So, it's so perhaps you more like ask diplomatic. One of the spouses to take pictures of you. Yeah. <laughs> so this is all the first ladies of like. Countries, the, the yeah. major, some of the most major countries. What did that feel like? Were you nervous? Well, actually, I felt like it's the same thing with other diplomatic oh. events that I hosted before. So maybe the pressure. Usually, the ambassador who pressed me, <laughs> or <laughs> some, uh, you know, the, lo the, the local government who, you know, put some pressure whenever I do. I did some events in China, in, Shang in right. Beijing, Shanghai, and Qatar. But this time it felt different because everyone's so, so tense, and I was like, everyone was tense. But how so tense because maybe the arrival of the first ladies mm -hmm. and the spouse, it's not precise. You know, mm -hmm. I thought the Spain is uh, going to be the first, right. and the then suddenly, yeah, high. the dynamic. Okay, the Spain is the first, and then the second one is supposed to be Korean, for example. But then it's Japan, mm -hmm. the first lady of Japan who arrived, right. something but, like that. So maybe. The, t the the protocols that mm. makes us tense because mm -hmm. it's uncertainty mm -hmm. and the the, dif the the different times like two minutes to arrive, three mm. minutes to arrive. So it's very hard to time it. Like I noticed yeah. that th through the arrival of the actual G20 summit itself, yeah. when the world leaders arrived, I mean that had to be done in such a timely fashion. But that means that tracks all the way back to the hotel and wherever they're at. So everyone and it's also That's different true. because it's in Bali and there's like so many important events at the same time, right? right? Yeah. And usually if they uh, receive the, the guests in the palace, it's, just, it's different, right? Okay. This is in a hotel, mm. in a five-star hotel, of course, mm -hmm. but still, you know, the streets and then you don't know what's going on in the head, maybe even though the, the, the street is clear, the protocols. Well, I'm, I'm wondering ready. though. I mean, of course, there's a, a pressure from the ambassador, as you mentioned, and you've when, carrying, when, yeah. yeah, you're carrying this big role as an MC uh, with the spouses of uh, leaders of the world, right? Yeah. So, um, how did it, how did it uh, feel? And also, what kind of target? If you have like a personal target instead of only, you know, being an MC and welcoming them, is there any well, specific I accomplishment? Felt, I you? felt like uh, usually, both. Uh, I think I had three ambassadors before that assigned me as emceeing yeah, when I was in China, Beijing, Shanghai, and then in Qatar. Mm -hmm. Most ambassadors felt like I have to represent the country. Yeah, of course. And then I have to represent the Indonesian ladies as well. Mm -hmm. And then the target is, of course, they have to know more about Indonesia. I think it's the same thing, like, because we are in abroad or we are in, the, in front of international audience, so. You are I the ambassador. Yeah. <laughs> you become the ambassador. I become the ambassador in the States, right? <laughs> yes, that definitely. Now, um, some of this stuff we'll be able to see through images and videos. Yeah. But tell us something that we're not going to be able Behind to Behind the scenes. What was it like? What did you talk about when you first ran into the First Lady? Well, uh, I was so nervous. That's, I felt nervous when I sure. met when I <laughs> met. Uh, Madame Iriana. I would have loved to be there because I never see you nervous. So, <laughs> so go ahead. But at the time, I felt nervous because, mm -hmm. because you know, uh, Madame Iriana already arrived and what, how about the other first lady? Right. What they will arrive? Something about time management in my mind. Mm -hmm. And then I greeted them uh, to Madame Iriana and I was so scared that I made a wrong impression mm -hmm. or wrong, you know, sentence or anything else. But it turned out Madame Iriana is so kind, so mm -hmm. elegant, so beautiful. And what did you guys talk about? And she said to me a few times, she keeps saying, thank you, Manoni, thank you, Manoni, wow. thank you, Manoni. Oh, wow. And I was like... So she was impressed as well. Like, one time is enough, and yeah. she keeps saying Just that. one time and a selfie deep. will do. That <laughs> <laughs> and I was yeah. so touched, you know, by yeah. her kindness, because... And I can feel the first lady aura in mm. her, right? Mm. And this is the first time I saw her personally, because I don't think Madame Iriana appeared 
in many occasions mm -hmm. and talking so much. So this is the first time that you for met me, her? For me, yeah. That's why, to okay. communicate with her. And then she mentioned my name, and then after that, can I have to take a picture with you? And she said yes, and I was like, Wow, wow. keep that one. Wow. Gotta put that one in the frame. <laughs> what about the other uh, lady, first ladies? I mean... Um... I can't, I can't, because it's very restricted. There's not mm. so much camera, because it's supposed to be intimate mm. session. Right? Okay. But I mean, did, did they say anything that really um, became something that you remember for the whole of your life? Well, uh, one of them maybe compliment me, mm. mashallah. Because I'm wearing hijab, mm -hmm. and then I'm wearing kebaya, and maybe that's like one combination they very rarely, rarely see. Rarely see, correct. Mm -hmm. So and so they were like, oh, so you're so you're Muslim, and then you're wearing kebaya and also hijab. And I said, yes. it's a lovely kebaya. It was a Javanese style a Javanese, kebaya, but yeah. it's quite modern yes, in a way. Yes. That I think it's like traditional contemporary. Contemporary, yeah. yeah. It's like a skirt, but batik motif, kebaya batik yeah. motif, and also the the top. Mm -hmm. Is my favorite with a velvet, black velvet, if I'm not mistaken, yes, with a gold, with a gold, like big gold velvet, as if I'm going to boxing. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> <Amazing>. Well, <laughs> lovely. Uh, we often hear that behind every uh, great man is a great woman, right? Yeah. Trying to be strong man Ooh. is a great woman who is able to support him and put him there. What did you learn about the role of the first ladies as you got to meet them live and in person? What more did you learn about them from what? other than what we see on the surface, um, that kind of shows you that, hey, it, it is not just a one-person job. As president, it's yeah. very important that their spouses are supportive. We saw that when President Jokowi visited Ukraine and Russia. Yeah. Who was there? It was the First Lady. That's so true. Tell me about your impressions when you got to meet this First Lady. What I learned about my meeting with Madame Iriana and she keeps greet, say, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. And I can see uh, the sincerity, right? Mm. That's the first one. And then the second one, the elegance, the gentleness, you know. And then I used to learn that, you know, being a, a bright person means like sometimes you have to wear some bright costumes, you know. When we are in the industry, I used to learn that there's a, a several outfit that sometimes give you to light up, mm. to light up your appearance, right? Which is usually uh, bright colors. Mm. But somehow what I saw in... She doesn't need that. Mind, I know, right? Uh -huh. She wore... And at all the first lady wore a very basic simple. and simple colors like white and then nude and mm -hmm. and it just brings them more beauty. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. So simplicity gives them more beauty. I have so a I'm wearing though. There you go, and you've taken yeah. you look this like is, a first lady. Yeah. <laughs> you look like a first lady. And my dear wardrobe, you know. Looks like you learned a few me. things. I know. <laughs> but it, it's a question of everybody, especially the women, when they saw the first lady of South Korea. Mm. What kind of skin skin care did they I have? Know. That you was asked about that. Oh my viral, God. Isn't it, right? I was having a goosebump, and I was like, oh, she's a fifty-year-old so lady. Yeah, I thought she, she was like, like 35 50. years old. Yeah. Okay, so now we, even though we didn't get to be there, we're gonna now have a look at some clips, some highlights yes. here. Okay. From your experience, let's have a look. That's and you could talk Madame to Hugh, and you talk to this. That's Madame Ermin Erdogan when she arrived. Mm -hmm. See, like, because the other host is Madame Angela Tanusudibio. Mm -hmm. She's greeting uh, the First Lady of Spain. So you are basically the host of the event. Yes, and after this clip, I was, I came to her, because, okay. because they don't. They don't know, you know, the explanation of the woven. So you, you approach them and explain. Here you go. I was, I, I was, I said sorry to Madame Angela Tano. I said to her, like, I'm sorry, I have to step in mm -hmm. because I'm just reading the situation, you know, just like. Oh. But were there any circumstances that the, the committee told you you shouldn't do this? Yes, you yes. Cannot yes. do that. The do's and After do's. this moment, mm -hmm. I uh, my next spot is in the Photoshop. Space. A photo shoot spot, okay. mm -hmm. and I can't near them. Okay, you're not. And then to. after that, there's a decoupage parts when I also do some opening there. I did some opening there. I cannot be. I was. I looking to all the first lady, and they they having difficulties, you know, to, mm. to do the decoupage thing. Right. And I just because I just want to help, help, you know. I saw what a producer. Same ladies, I was like, hey, hey, you want to help? Manoni, come on, come on, please. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't get too close. You're closely. not allowed to. Oh, you're not, I'm not allowed. All right, for security yeah, purposes, yes. that's understandable. And the yeah. first lady of South Korea, the one that you asked me, she's mm -hmm. so beautiful. And mm -hmm. I agree with all the netizens said that she's so pretty. And mm -hmm. she's just like a Korean drama 
artists that we used to saw, right? Yeah. We used to see in the drama. Yeah. It's really beautiful, and it comes to my surprise. This is 52. Yeah. yeah. And I say like, okay, I have, well, I have to start skipping. <laughs> <laughs> we have to make visits to frequent visits to South Korea. So, um, so what cool. would be the one most valuable moment or uh, a part of this experience that you will have taken from all of this? I feel proud, you know, with the G20 programs and also especially the one that I hosted, the G20 Spouse program. I felt like Indonesian is beautiful and I felt like we captured every tradition, every culture um, items that we have. And all the organizers, the government, the even organizers as well, they just bring the Indonesian out loud there in G20 mm -hmm. with the business substance, with the culture substance. I think it brings... We did an all-out job. I know. Indonesia yeah. is like a really cool country. Yeah. Well, I will have to add on to that by saying I believe wow. that Indonesians have always been very good at creating events and being very welcoming. It's just that now the rest of the world is finding out, and I'm glad that it went off without a hitch. Hopefully. hopefully. Very proud of you. Thank very you so much out. for representing well done, all Alia. of us Indonesians Thank so you. well. <laughs> You're a very lucky person, and uh, I'm sure you'll be invited back soon to other... Oh, maybe Amen. she will become I'm the first lady one day. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, I will let uh, Mr. Narendra Modi know that. Uh, <laughs> maybe he, need, he needs an MC <laughs> as well.